There is danger ahead. Federal government warns Nigerians three days after lockdown ease. The federal government has again expressed its displeasure over the continued disregard of the eased lockdown guidelines by Nigerians. Speaking at the daily briefing on Wednesday, the chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, Boss Mustafa, said it portends danger for the country. President Muhammad Buhari had on April 27th announced the eased and gradual phasing sorry announced the first and gradual easing of the lockdown which will start on which starts on Monday May 4th but also imposed a dusk to dawn curfew nationwide however the government had said that its overall assessment of compliance with the measures leaves a lot to be decided. Mustafa said the overall assessment of compliance with the measures and outcomes of modeling we have developed points in the direction of danger ahead. We therefore need personal discipline, increased awareness and enforcement. I want to reiterate the fact that our individual and collective safety is in our hands and I re-echo my call and appeal to Nigerians to demonstrate our duty to ourselves and loved ones by minimizing the risk of getting infected by the virus. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning what um, the chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 has come out to say. The truth remains that there is danger ahead. Warning, the warning, uh, the populace is one way to go about it. But another issue is, don't you think the federal government, you know, has got a lot of blames or should be apportioned blames on this particular issue because it, the lockdown did not achieve the main purpose of it. So isn't the lockdown already further jeopardizes the purpose of the lockdown, which was initially actually uh, carried out? But be that as it may, Nigerians themselves are already not helping matters because they are not observing the guidelines that has been put in place. There are no excuses tenable enough for people to violate lay down principles or guidelines. No excuse is tenable. The government has, in their own magnanimity, uh, decided to ease the lockdown to uh, help uh, curb the issue of hunger and uh, stem down the effect of the lockdown on the economy and uh, on people as it were. But uh, you would expect that people are to take responsibility for their lives and for their own safety. But a lot of people have actually thrown caution to the wind, which has given rise to the warnings by the federal government. And like the federal government also said in a recent report, just a, a day ago or days ago, that there might be another lockdown, a fresh lockdown, if the cases continue to rise beyond normal or control so what, what would you say guys don't you think that the cases of COVID-19 will probably be on the rise from the look of things take a look at some of the videos we've seen online or pictures we've seen online you know after the lockdown day three to day, day three of the lockdown of the ease sorry of the lockdown Take a look at the videos, look at the uh, marketplaces, look at the bus stops, look at uh, commercial vehicles, look at banks, uh, look at some other places. You will continue to see that social distancing were not in any way uh, observed. There was nothing like social distancing being observed, which puts um, 
which puts uh, people or questions to the fact that what are people actually doing? Do they really believe that there's COVID-19? Why are some are saying that the COVID-19 in Nigeria is actually not the original one and fake? Well, be that as it may, regardless of be it being original or fake, the challenge that uh, Nigerians are actually facing is the challenge of staying safe because it is whoever is alive that can blame the government for not producing predatives or for not putting measures in place. But be that as it may, everybody and every individual must take responsibility for him or herself first before uh, pointing accusing fingers to the government. What are we doing? The government has said that if you must go to go out to places go to gatherings, you must put on your face mask, which is very, very important. The guidelines for wearing face masks has also been listed, but a lot of people are actually not adhering to this. Also, social distancing. A lot of people are not observing the social distancing uh, rule and guideline, which for that speaks how uh, people are already neglecting the guidelines. Washing of hands properly with soap and water consistently or from time to time, that cannot be measured because it remains to be seen if people are actually washing their hands regularly with soap and water. So be that as it may, what are your thoughts? What do you see? Do you agree with the federal government that there is danger ahead? Do you agree with the federal government that people are actually not taking responsibility for their lives? Another issue or another thing that needs to be we need to discuss is the fact that do people really believe that there is coronavirus in Nigeria despite the number of cases that have been recorded or registered by the NCDC, despite the number of deaths that have been recorded, and despite the number of recoveries? Do people believe and agree that there is a coronavirus in Nigeria? Because from the look of things or from what has been explained, the virus has been said or was said to be able to uh, stay on the surface for a number of hours. So if you go out into public places and somebody who has it breathes on you, then automatically you have it already. But are the immune system of everybody uh, well boosted enough to be able to fight against the coronavirus? That is another question that we need to ask ourselves. So how well or how well boosted are the immune system of people, it remains to be seen. So how many people are observing social distancing as it's were? So guys, these are some of the challenges. The federal government have been saying their own that uh, people, you know, stand higher risk and uh, there is danger ahead. Or be that as it may, people and individuals regardless of their feelings, regardless of what is going on, must learn to take responsibility for their own lives and safety. How many people are actually well-educated as regards the coronavirus? Look at what is happening in the northern part of the country. Are they well-educated on this uh, particular issue? Well, let's take a few reactions and uh, hear what people are saying. Someone just says, you have a point on this. But you government need to do the needful by being transparent, honest, caring, and merciful. So I guess this person suggests that the government is not being uh, transparent enough and they're not honest and not caring and not careful. Well, another person says it's turn by turn. All of us will not die in one day. If they like, let something worse than COVID-19 come. Life in Nigeria must definitely return to normal with time. Exactly. Not, uh, we, we know that, but we must take uh, precautions. Obu White, Obu says, fake government. Coronavirus is even better than hunger virus. Take it or leave it. Manasoko says, when the government refused to give out palliative to the citizens, what do you guys expect to happen? Nothing will happen than the worst. Well, it's what it is, guys. The government has stated this, and um, 
it will be on record and it is on record that the government had spoken as regards the COVID-19. So guys, what are your thoughts? Please kindly drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, please do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate your support. I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for